Look over here. I got a fish. Can I reel? Reel my rod. I'll give me your rod, can I? Reel, can I reel? Keep reeling. I'm reeling. Oh. A pike. Whoa. Can I, can I look at the reel. turtles? Look at all those turtles. Wow. Oh, he's got teeth. Don't grab him. He's got lots of teeth. Look at all those teeth in his mouth. Oh, but he's slimy. He is slimy. I do this, Rodman. Look at that. All right, we're going to let him go. Okay. Well, he was like, so I'm going to be out of here. We is fishing. It's my first time on the boat. Hi, <laughs> good. You nailed it. What's up, guys? Uh, out here on a different lake. It's a completely different kind of day than the day we normally have. Um, little man's first time on the boat today. I got a big man back there, and uh, we're fishing for fish to keep. So this is a catch and cook. Uh, we've got a couple dozen small minnows. Got his little Mickey Mouse rod, and we're just out here. We're going to cove hop and look for crappy and small bass and bluegill. And don't do that. And ring perch and stop him from throwing my baits in the water. See y'all in a minute. Yes, he did. I saw him come up and eat it off the surface. Whoa, that's huge. Open the live well. Got dripping on me though. Come on, stand up. Get up here. I, I, I have it. Real. Oh, oh. Caleb, get the net. Kira, hey. keep it tight. Real, turn the handle. Get out of the boat. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> you couldn't turn the real handle. Hey, Kina, can you reach in the minnow bucket and get a minnow out? What do you mean? Grab one of those minnows. I got it, I got it. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is a mini bass or a bluegill. It's a minnow. Give me here. Okay. So it's a regular minnow? Yep. That's all he is. Alright, let's see if we can get a fish to bite your bobber. Where are you throwing? Over there where I missed those two bites on my crappy jig. Got him, Kina. Kina, you got the fish. Yes, it's fish. Okay, okay. Real. Caleb, okay, get the net. Yeah, keep the net, keep the net. Keep reeling. I am, I am. The net oh, is stuck. It's huge, it's huge. Oh gosh, get the net. The net is stuck. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. I can't believe we just did that. Good good recovery, Caleb. <laughs> Kena, you caught a crappy. How did I do that? That is so huge. Caleb with the awesome net job. How did I do that? Come here. Oh, that guy is huge. That guy is huge. Oh, that guy is huge. He's huger than all the other big fish. Yeah, you caught a monster. He you know what that was? There in that, in that in same that spot water. where I had just put the bobber before we pulled off. Whoa. Where I had gotten two bites on the crappy jig and one bite on the bobber. That's where I put it. You gotta take a picture with your fish. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than his chest. 
did something on it. One six. Name of mine. Well, he is huge. He, he is huge. He's a beast. He's a beast. The second fish with him. What do you mean? I, when he was right here, another fish went that way. Oh, look at his scales. Fish have scales? Mm -hmm. so it's, so it's like reptiles? Look, man, take your kids fishing. You can't beat this with a stick. He's going to remember this forever. All right, guys, I'm home. Uh, it's the next day, actually. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little disjointed. It's really, really, really hard to fish with a small child. Um, if you've never actually taken a young kid, like Hina is four, about to be five. If you've never taken a very small child out fishing, you really have to give it most of your attention. You can't just go down the lake and fish and film and talk to you guys. I, I keep turning my head, stopping, making sure he's safe, making sure he doesn't fall over. I'm, I'm completely sure that you guys understand. So. Um, just a few clips from our day. I'm back at the house now. We did end up keeping about six or seven fish, so I'm gonna get ready to cook those up. Um, Want to show you guys this. This is a a top fort. I think this is the seven inch knife. I'm not sure, but I think it's a seven inch knife. Uh, sorry for the wind noise. They get by the house. This company contacted me and uh, wanted to send me a knife. So why not? I've all my fillet knives are like the five dollar knives you buy at the counter at the bait store i don't actually have any good fillet knives so i was eager to get my hands on one um this is the chinese manufacturer like most things so no surprise there um, i'll link them below you can find them on amazon but uh we're going to try this knife out see how well it does i've got a couple bass and a few crappy i'm just going to fillet them up um and then i'm going to cook them up and uh the way my dad showed me how to cook them, I'm not going to use the air fryer this time. So this is the way I grew up cooking fish for my mom. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but thanks for watching my content, guys. Thank you for subscribing. There are 180 new subscribers in the last 28 days. Um, hello to all of you. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, I can't wait to keep growing with you guys. I'm glad you're digging the content. Keep commenting below. Uh, I like responding to them right now. I hope for the day where I have so many comments I can't get to them. But at least for now, I can respond. So comment below if you need to get a hold of me. I'll see you on the water. This is a seven inch fillet knife. The full knife in this fish is still, the boys did okay. Um, we caught a couple really nice, a couple really nice size crappy, a uh, couple bass. So I'm not gonna fillet every single fish on camera, but I am gonna fillet just this one. So the way that I fillet a fish is I don't cut straight down. I'm gonna cut kind of at an angle here, so I, I capture some of the meat that's up here. Hmm. That make that cut, and I rotate it around. And also, I use cardboard. Old school tells you use newspaper. Uh, newspaper gets soggy. I find that cardboard holds up quite a bit better. I really like the handle on this knife. Tremendously. And then I just followed the rib cage down with my blade, trying to get as close as possible. Now with these also, you gotta check them for parasites. Don't know why, but this particular fish seem, tends to get a lot of parasites in his flesh. At least for me, especially on some of the tidal rivers in Virginia, I find a lot of parasites in them. 
Now what I usually do is I take my index finger, and I just hold the back, get the knife in, and then I just go along the, the skin and actually cut the flesh away from the skin. And that's that. Done. Now, if I was giving these to the little one, there are some very fine, very fine bones that you have to cut through away from the rib cage right here. Um, I wouldn't give those to a small child, but I'm gonna give Kena a different piece of fish. This will be for uh, my wife and my son, my older son. Okay, I've I have done this before on the channel. Um, if you go and search, you can find it a ways back. But what I have here is House Autry Seafood Breading and Old Bay. These are the uh, fillets that I prepared for my youngest. What these are is I've cut the fish behind the rib cage so that there are no bones in this. And then uh, this is what I fried for the baby. Uh, Caleb and my wife and I will eat the rest of them. But all I'm gonna do here, see how I can do this without getting fish all over my camera, is what I do is I take the Old Bay and I actually am fairly generous and I actually put it on the fish directly. You can also um, add Cajun blackening seasoning to this, not Cajun seasoning, but actual blackening seasoning. So I do both sides. And then I just put it in a Tupperware container with the house all tree, toss it, and then I fry it in oil. And that's all there is to it, really.